What's going on guys, Garrett here, and in this video we're doing episode 54 of our squad cast, which is our weekly podcast with Mr. Botch the Win. Hello. And the Saints fan. What up? Now this week's topics for the squad cast include GTA 5 on PC. We'll be talking about the pros, cons, different things we like about it and dislike about it. In addition to that, we'll be also covering Black Ops 3 leaked information and of course Battlefront, a game that Austin and I are very excited about. Ross, are you excited for it as well? Yeah, of course. So with that out of the way, let's jump really quickly into this week's sponsor for this podcast, which is an awesome mouse company called Utech Smart. Now, Utech Smart is providing us with five mice to give away. So we have five brand new mouse, mice, mouses to Mises. give away. Mises. Yeah. Mices, Mises. <laughs> and this is the Utech Smart Venus. Now, this mouse is going to be available to you guys. So if you guys want to enter, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And we're going to be picking five comments from our channels. So, Mr. Boss of the Wind, the Saints fan, and myself, Jobless Gamers, will all pick individual winners, and we'll go ahead and contact you guys and give the mice away like that. So, this mouse does have some awesome things to it, and of course, it has up to 16,400 DPI, 18 programmable buttons, including 12 side buttons. Now, this is an MMO gaming mouse, so if you play a lot of MMOs, it would be very, very useful to you. It has five programmable user profiles. Um, over 16 million customizing LED color options for side buttons, logo, and headlights. If you want to have like a crazy, uh, I guess, colored l mouse, you can go ahead and do that with this mouse. And they offer a 18-month manufacturer warranty. And of course, they also have the lowest price for MMO gaming mice or mouse on Amazon. And if you guys enter the 10% promotion code down below if you decide to buy one, we are offering 10% off on it. So overall... Pretty much giving back to you guys. This is a giveaway plus 10% off. If you were looking for a new mouse, check it out. Link can be found down below. And of course, leave a comment down below. I guess you guys want to do it by Twitter handles or how can these? How can they enter? What do you think is the best way for them to enter Ross Twitter and Austin? Twitter would be easiest. So if you have a Twitter, just go ahead and leave like your at and then your name. And that'll be mm -hmm. the easiest place to contact you. Just be sure you make sure you follow us on there because we're gonna follow the winners so we can like DM you and get your address and stuff like that to get you this uh, mouse out to you. Yeah, I think that's the easiest way. So if you have not created a Twitter, do not have one, go ahead and create one, leave your Twitter handle down below. So at an example, mine's at Garrett underscore Sutton, Ross is at Mr. Boss with the win, and Austin is at dat underscore Saints fan. So just leave your Twitter handles down below in the comment section. And that's pretty much it. Make sure you guys also check out Utech Smarts, their Facebook, Twitter, um, and all their links down below as you guys can find more information about their products. And with that all out of the way, are you guys ready to jump into the first topic about GTA 5 on PC? Let's do mm -hmm. it. Let's go. So, GTA 5 on PC is something that we've been waiting, waiting for for a very long time, over a year and a half now, I'd say, somewhere around there. And it's finally here, guys. It came out a few days ago, or last week, about four on or Tuesday. five days ago. Yeah, no. Tuesday, yeah. or Monday. Monday whatever, night. Wherever you live, yeah. So, I don't know, uh, has it lived up to what you guys are waiting for? um i have been enjoying my time obviously i've been enjoying the new graphics and i've fooled around with that rockstar editor and director mode but for me because i've i've been playing gta for like 600 days now the fact that there's no new content i'm just like wow this is really beautiful but it's the same san andreas and los santos that we've been playing on for uh 600 days now <laughs> yeah i i agree i mean I mean, we kind of knew going into it that there wasn't going to be any new content, so it really doesn't come to as a shock, but I guess just the realization of it, like, because I watched Garrett's video he did a couple days ago where he talked about how it's kind of weird just, like, going into a, a lobby where it's, like, you're level, like, 200, everybody else is level, like, 2, 3. Yeah, I feel like I'm the king it, of the world. Yeah, we're the first, I am like, the captain now. <laughs> and, it, like, it's just, it's so weird because, and then he even mentioned, like, races. It's really unfair because you have, like, all the high-end cars all upgraded these guys on PC that are new, they don't have anything. So you beat them all the time. So well, it is weird, but I mean, look, it, it looks beautiful, man. Like that in the 60 frame, I will say the 60 frames alone makes like, I love the Oh my, it's so smooth, man. I love it. It is really smooth. The 60 frames is like out of this world. It's a huge difference. On top of that, with the new players, like I'm getting killed a lot. I'm not going to lie. Like when I'm driving my adder because everybody wants to steal it. It's the saddest thing because they don't have their own. Well, that's because like, they've some never guy, seen it before. Or some guy like pulled up and I'm like, that's the adder. I need to get I this. I was like, not AFK, but I wasn't really looking at my monitor. And I was in my Zentorno and some guy pulled up in a Panto. And I look and he like he's like looking at my car. And next thing you know, he shoots me out 
and drives off and says, thank you for the car, faggot. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, just, just drive. I'm like, was that even needed? Like, I can just kick him out. I can just get another car, no problem. But it was just the stupidest thing. I just, they're just so new to the game. And We're going to start feel... a service for people who are low levels. I'll give you my car. I'm going to rent my car out. <laughs> like, taxi rental service. <laughs> yeah. Like, Let it's you just... drive the insurgent for a it's low price. It's just so though. strange. I, I mean, it's but, yeah. we've been playing this game weird. for so long. And the thing is, it's hard. It's really hard not to compete, I would say, on Twitch and on YouTube. But for those of us that have been playing for so long, you know, we don't have that same excitement we had in 2013. So an example, like if I, if there's people streaming on Twitch and they're like, oh my God, we're in this strip club. <laughs> there's boobs. And I'm just like, bro, I've seen the same, same ladies I've for the last the same year and a half. for like 600 days, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's just like, I got oh all my the God. strippers numbers. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they already come over to my house on a regular. But, yeah. you know, that's, that's the same. That's the problem that I'm seeing. It's just like, I don't feel right being playing on pc i just feel like i've seen too much it's like if you've been in the future and you go back to the past it's like okay now what i already know what's going to happen it's just yeah, a weird i kind of agree it, it yeah it is that that level of excitement isn't like i think both of you guys tweeted it's like man nothing will be when you played it for the first time on the 360 and that's like, the that, best part man yeah and like, it sucks man but that, that's just i mean it, it is like that for everything that's, yeah, that's what makes it so great is because it, it comes and goes with each new but game. At least, I mean, some of my friends who ha this is like their first time playing, like I can, or like I, they're playing free roam, just messing around and like killing people and running away from the cops and stuff. And like they're like, I can tell they're really enjoying it. And, you know, it's fun to see other people sort of enjoy it with you and everything. But, but yeah, man, it, I mean, overall though, I think it's been good. I mean, we can talk about the modding here in a little bit, like, not only like 48 hours after the game came out, there's already people figured out the whole modding stuff, a little bit of these. So that should be interesting to see where that goes. But um, the base game, yeah, it, it's it's been the same. And until they add something new, it's not going to, I guess, be exciting. I don't want to say it's not going to be exciting because it's still like there's still fun things to do in GTA. But I guess we're not going to have that feeling of, um, I don't know, like just the initial excitement. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Like, because when even Heist came out, like, that was, it was, like, everybody's excited, pumped up, you know. So, yeah. But, I mean, that's just to be, to be expected. Well, I was really excited on the first night, but I kind of... Well, the first night didn't really go too smoothly. <laughs> for a lot of people, for various different reasons. For various different reasons, yeah. There were, like, um, what what were some of the issues on, like, day one? Or, uh, were they you know, similar people to... giving out codes to their stream. Well, um... yeah, I'm an expert at that. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't know. There was just, you know, obviously a lot of people getting on the game. That's the servers having troubles. Um, I've actually had pretty good success with the servers. And that's one thing I, I like. The, the loading times are a lot better. Not really. I mean, like, For yeah, me. in single player stuff. But there, it, it, that's just the clouds. Like, you can't do anything about Like, you have oh, yeah, the best PC in the world. Clouds, but, but it's like... trying to find games sometimes does take a little bit longer. But that's just their matchmate. You can't do anything until they fix it. Um... But yeah, I mean, the first day was exciting until everybody had issues. Like, I know I was having issues just with, like, hardware and stuff, trying to figure out, like, what's the best settings and, like, optimizing it. And there was having DDoS issues. Yeah, there was, was a lot of sad day. My uh... game stolen issues. <laughs> yeah. It's sad because, like, we were doing so well. Like, we were, for example, oh, we're like, I was streaming it. on Twitch and I had, like, 4,000 viewers. I was like, oh, my God, this is awesome. There's so many people talking in my chat. I now have friends I can talk to. And then I got kicked offline. I was like, no, it was the worst experience I've I've had in a long time. But you know, especially the problem I've been having lately. I don't think I don't think you guys have been having where you know the newest Nvidia drivers were causing me issues with OBS because they have a conflict right now. Or if you stream for too long, it kicks you off. It's yeah, the weirdest thing. That. It's so strange. But overall, I think the the servers held up pretty nicely. Yeah, that's one. Like the servers didn't go down, which is kind of shocking because I just read that GTA actually broke a Steam concurrent viewer or concurrent player record. So I mean, that's that should the honestly third be times no a charm for Rockstar. That's like, yay! Congrats on your ninth ninth Guinness World Record for like yeah. video games and entertainment. But um, I guess I don't know. Overall. It's been positive. I mean, what do you guys sort of feel? Yeah, and and the from the PC side, like they're I know the PC guys are really happy with, and I know they hate having it called a port, but like they're really happy with the PC version of this game. 
in terms of, like yeah it, uh, I mean, it's really well optimized and... i will say that like despite the issues i mean I, I eventually figured my stuff out and a lot of people are also having like really great you know uh i guess performance with their pc even if it's a lower end because it's really well optimized and you know one of the things that i guess if you are like contemplating switching between console and pc like you're like well i don't you know know how to use a keyboard or a mouse or i'm not good at it well like one thing that's awesome rockstar implemented it so where you can like on the fly switch between the keyboard and the mouse and a controller so like you don't need to hit sl- or start menu go in there change settings like if you start using your controller it'll recognize it as a controller. If you start using your mouse and keyboard, it'll recognize it as that. So kind of what I do, and I think it's the best way for driving and like flying, I'll use a controller. Then for aiming and shooting and everything, I'll use the keyboard and mouse because you get more accuracy. So it's uh, I, I really do like that fact too. Yeah, they, they did a really good job, that's for sure. And I think that's noticed in the community, even if you're not yeah. a PC person. Um, so I guess you guys want to touch on the whole modding situation? Yeah, sure. Since that, um, that's kind of like the, like, honestly, and you can let us know in the comments if you maybe feel differently about this, but a lot of people, I would say, got PC to, to, to do modding, you know? Like, that's that's one of the big draws of PC gaming. And you kind of, who wants to, to sort of discuss the whole issue so with Rockstar? And Rockstar everything? went ahead and uh, released GTA 5 on PC with all their files in, encrypted. Um, what that means is basically... All the fire files were locked down where users could not access them and, and view um, different textures and edit them. Well, you know, that was a huge blow to the GTA community. And, of course, this happened with GTA 4 as well. But they were very, very – it was a very, very annoying uh, encryption algorithm that, at the time, the modders did not know how to crack. Um, fast forward to this week, it has already been cracked. So yeah, that's always a plus. later. Yeah, it's always a plus. Like they were all complaining about it, and now it's been cracked. So that's good. I mean, we're making steps to the right direction. Uh, I bet Rockstar was probably like, "Oh man, I wish we would have made the encryption a little harder." But Rockstar's always had that distaste for modding in GTA Five or GTA, and um, we're just gonna have to wait and see what comes from this new uh, decryption. Yeah. As they mentioned that, I think there's a little bit of an editing issue with the current files, but they're going to work around it or something. But there's already yeah, some funny. mods coming out. I mean, they have already a graphics mod, which is Sweet FX. They already have a first-person field of view mod. And I'm going to be putting all the links down below if you guys want to find more information about them, like in regards to like where you can download them. But a lot of problems are people are saying that are that um, you run the risk of downloading these mods because Rockstar might see it that you're using a cheat. And my well, band they did make they made the statement that they're not going to tolerate mods in Grand Theft Auto Online. Yeah, they said I mean, that, that, that should be expected. Yes. Well, yeah, it was in one of the articles, I think, or interviews uh, or something like that. But like that just makes sense. Like, yeah, if you, I mean, there's a simple trainer. If you don't know what that is, basically, it's a mod menu, so to speak. And you can do all this crazy stuff in single player. And unfortunately, it does work in online. But that's stupid. Like, why would you ever go into online? Because the next day you're going to get banned and sixty dollars just went down the drain. So. It makes sense. So if you are, say, using these mods, just make sure you take them or you delete them before you go into online. But um, kind of I want to touch on real quick because maybe some people kind of just have seen what Rockstar's done in the past on consoles and they're thinking, you know, maybe since Rockstar doesn't quote unquote like modding, are they going to patch it and, and sort of encrypt these files again? Well, they really can't do that because PC is 60 gigabytes and they would have to encrypt every single file. Like it would just be not even worth it to do it. So that's, that's the good news in all of this. Like every, or like everything's sort of out there for the, the modders to play with and, you know, figure out. So I guess the only thing that I've been seeing is they could release some sort of, like I think the DLC cars and the DLC stuff isn't included in like the regular game files or something. I don't know, something weird like that. So like, some update might make the files like when you go on online not work. I don't know, some weird technical stuff. But uh, yeah, like Gary said, it is going in the right direction, which is good. No, we're not going to be seeing any what like Carmageddon or any crazy mods, you know, tomorrow. But it's I don't know, it's just. It's exciting to see this happen. Yeah. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Right around the corner. (laughs) Like we always say. Right around the corner. It's right around the corner, guys. Don't worry. But I think uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see which way the whole 
uh, GT5 on PC goes. I mean, so far the excitement about GT5 has been huge. I mean, people are super ecstatic and happy about uh, GT5 on PC. I mean, there's been a lot of good feedback, and people have been really just making, I guess, the same. They have the same feeling we did back in 2013 for everyone that's been playing since Xbox 360. So yeah, I would agree. I'm excited yeah. to see what what happens. Ow! The big question is when the next DLC is, because boy, I'm bored as all dicks. That's an yeah, understatement. That uh, wasn't there some files for like cops or something. I don't know. I haven't really been paying much attention to like the whole leaking scene since the whole that other issue that I don't even want to talk about. But has there? Does anybody know? Any like I heard stuff? like new cops and crook stuff, but I didn't even yeah, bother. I that's... Yeah, I covered that to or uh, a few days ago, and that was apparently there was just like a list of the DLCs. So when Rockstar had to update the PC files, they included like a a list of the DLCs in order. And after uh, DLC MP Heist, there was one that said like DLC uh, PD03. So make of that what you want, but I don't know. I think that'd be cool. No, for sure, man. Um. Well, PD03, it stands for Pancake Dicks. I said it in my video. I was like, oh, that could be like political debate. But I like Pancake <laughs> Dicks too. <laughs> that too. Yeah. But well, uh, it's uh, it's going to be an interesting next few weeks and months. Whether, you know, between the modding and then between, I guess, what Rockstar's next DLC is. Because, you know, it sucks that Rockstar doesn't, I guess, embrace it. Because, like, the one downside... I was thinking about this the other day. Like, the one downside to the mods, at least the way they work, or the way they would work now, like, an Iron Man mod, or a LCPDFR mod, like, the, I think the fun in it would be playing with friends. Like, if us three were, like, Iron Man or whatever together. But you can't do that without going into online, and that obviously will get you banned. Well, you gotta wait till Tungle servers come out. Well, see, that, that's, yeah, that's going to be the big thing to see what Rockstar does. Like, if somebody, and I'm sure somebody's already working on it, how to get, like, dedicated servers or, like, third-party servers so you can do online stuff without running the risk of, one, making other people's experiences bad, and two, you know, obviously not getting banned. But it's going to be interesting to see what or Rockstar sued. does with that. Or, well, yeah. That, too. But is Rockstar, like, yes. I'm wondering if Rockstar's going to go after people yes. who do that. Yes. You think? No but doubt. then, oh, yeah, sure. no but that's doubt, such dude. a huge thing because, like, that I will, leads I, the way I will to role play servers. Rockstar will, will, if you're making money off their, off their well, product. Well, let's just say it's free. It's not, it wouldn't be money. I mean, where would the money come from? Like, people donating or people buying, like, how you have it in Minecraft, how, like, people can buy packs, how people can buy coins. Okay. How, well, let's just say that is not in it. Now, uh, like, it's GTA community, so something like, Let's say you can happen, buy an adder but... for two bucks. All right. Well, ma okay, server. maybe, but um, let's just say it was free. Everything was perfect. It didn't like none of this bad stuff would happen. Like, man, it would suck so much if Rockstar like went after that and sort of got rid of it because that's like the next evolution for online. Like, people aren't gonna be playing online for too much longer. Like, even a a cops and robbers DLC. I don't think. What, I don't want to say it wouldn't last too long, but it's not enough to keep people playing for the long run. Whereas roleplay servers, private dedicated servers where we could play with like an Iron Man mod with friends, stuff like or Carmageddon with friends. You know how fun that would be if you're just playing online. You had like a tsunami mod plus Armageddon plus like zombie plus Back to the Future. Like that'd be so much fun. So that that's that's the just look out for what Rockstar does with that because that is going to be the biggest thing in my opinion because mods and single player are cool but many people want them online or online to play with friends. So I don't know. Knowing Rockstar, they are so they. Ooh. I know they hate mods, but there's got to be a point, man. We're in 2015. Like mods are a thing. Like yeah, but then they look at their bank account and they're like, hmm, our way's been pretty successful, so. Yeah, but don't fix anything that's True. not broken. What is that? No, yeah, don't fix I mean, something that sucks. That works. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. it there broke, you go. Yeah. God, I'm tired. Um, But with all that GTA 5 PC out of the way, let's get into a conversation in regards to Black Ops 3.
Yeah, yeah. I know nothing about. So you guys can go ahead and take it from here because all I know is that the first Call of Duty I've been excited about in three years because of Treyarch and David Vonderhaar and zombies and woods. And oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, but actually, real quick, because we didn't do a Squadcast last week for certain issues. The, I guess what, the trailer came out, what, like last Thursday or something? Yeah, like Like a week or two ago. Yeah, it was like the guy who was being made of DNA or something like that sitting down. Mm -hmm. Let us know in the comment section. I'm sure there's a lot of you guys who don't care about Call of Duty, but the fact that this is Treyarch, and I'm willing to give them, this will be like my last chance for Call of Duty. Like, if this isn't good, Call of Duty might be down the drain for me. But if it is good, then, hey, I'll play it. But let us know in the comments just, you know, what's your thoughts on Call of Duty. But yeah, Ross Ross knows more about the whole Black Ops stuff, so you want to sort of explain what happened? Well, yeah, it was confirmed Black Ops 3. (laughs) as compared to world at war 2 there were lots of like world at war 2 flashbacks though because in the trailer you could hear audio from old characters so if i were to predict the setting i mean i think they're gonna go forward but knowing like black ops campaign style they're gonna have like the flashback like the numbers mason they're gonna like flashback to world war 2 vietnam i think it's gonna be a good game i think the hype is real like I, I went back and I watched a lot of the other trailers for the Call of Duties, like Ghosts and Advanced Warfare, and there's a lot of dislikes. And then you go to this Black Ops 3 teaser trailer, and it's like 200,000 likes, like hardly any dislikes. Everyone's so hyped. So Yeah. I, I mean, I, like, I think this is the last straw for a lot of people. This is the last one, and they know it. Ghost was bad. Advanced Warfare wasn't necessarily bad, but it just wasn't Call of Duty to a lot of people. So I think, yeah, this is one of like the last... Me, like, times Call of Duty might be a thing, but what was kind of like before that we knew there was Black Ops 3, people there was like sort of half and half. Like, some people wanted Black Ops 3, and other people wanted like a World at War 2. I mean, I was on that World of War 2 side because man, the World of War was like one of my favorite games. It was actually the first Call of Duty that I played, but it was a classic, yeah. And I think what they're gonna do is sort of like mix them because they know a lot of people want the World at War, like that's that, uh, I guess what the feel of it. So I yeah, think the they're going to do some like style, flashbacks everything. and stuff to sort of give those people what they want. It's going to be interesting because I think you told me about the leaked like sort of image art that the guy sort of looked like he had an exosuit on. It was it's not an exosuit. It was just very futuristic armor. Okay. Cuz like that's and again, let us know in the comments but I am the type of person I like my Call of Duties like Simple. either modern, like modern or old fashioned. I don't really advanced. like the future. Yeah. yeah, Black Ops Two is about as advanced as I want things. Mm-hmm. I agree. Like the exosuits, eh, I didn't really care for that much. That's just because but... I suck and I'm so like true. Discoordinated that is like <laughs> yeah, that is very true. <laughs> you need to be really good to do the exosuits because there's a lot of stuff moving. But uh, it's it's gonna be interesting because I th- actually I think the twentieth. I don't know when. Let's see, this is going to go up on the 18th, the 20th, or the 21st, I think. They're going to be releasing an actual trailer, right? Or The 26th. So or the 26th, okay. A little mind. over a week. Yeah, that they're going to be releasing a lot more information, so that's going to be really fun. And, like, this is Treyarch, so they got zombies. You, you can't go wrong with zombies. Zombies are no, going to be fun, so it's going to be awesome. And I'm uh, I'm really excited, actually. I, Advanced Warfare I was kind of excited for. Ghost, not really so much, but... You know, this is Treyarch. I actually have liked their single players in the past. That's something I'm looking forward to as well. But I don't want to get too hyped, though, because it always ends bad when you get too hyped for stuff. I know, you know? But, but the thing with – there hasn't been a Treyarch Call of Duty in three years. That's the thing. Because exactly. remember, they made the switch to the three developers. Mm-hmm. That's true. So that's, that's why true. the hype is so real. Like the hype bubble for Black Ops 3, oh, gosh. Well, I think – would you say Black Ops 2 was like the last – Call of Duty that I don't know Black Ops 2 was I want to I don't want to say it's in its prime but that was like sort of the downfall after Black Ops 2 it kind of went downhill yeah I think the the exact prime would be like Modern Warfare 2 Black Ops because mm-hmm, yeah. I really hated Modern Warfare 3 like I was not a fan yeah wasn't either <laughs> and then Black Ops 2 was nice it wasn't Black Ops 1 or Modern Warfare 2 so yeah I'd say around that time yeah but it's gonna be uh I don't know I think it comes out in November so all the calls are in November. Yeah, it's going to conflict actually with the next game we're going to touch on briefly, but Battlefront, but uh it's going to be a good year, man. We got this Bethesda got is Battlefront. announcing something at E3 yeah, got, which is probably mm-hmm. Fallout 4 
off chance Elder Scrolls 6, how the hell they developed that in like two years, two years. Yeah. I don't know. But if they exactly. do, <laughs> oh, I will drop a yeah. boatload it's gonna of be, money. It's going to be a good year. And then you got all the DLC for GTA and all the mods for GTA. So it's going to be pretty fun. But I guess we can sort of touch on the last topic here, and, and that's Battlefront. Um, now, Garrett, you, I know you don't really care about Call of Duty, but are you excited about the Battlefront? You know, to be honest with you, I haven't really had a lot of experience with Battlefront. I know that way back in the day, it was really, really popular. I played a little bit, but was never really into it. After seeing and hearing what they plan to do with this Battlefront, it's just, it gives me a reminder of like an old, like, Battlefield-ish, like, type of game. Is that yeah. what we're talking about here? And that basically, like... You know, you have different uh, classes, different vehicles, and it just seems like a lot of fun. Now, whether or not I want to be posting it all the time, I don't know, but I am going to be playing it. Similar to how yeah. I play CSGO and uh, H1Z1 and stuff like that. You know, we play a lot of games as YouTubers, but a lot of it we don't post on our channels because, you know, a lot of you guys, we don't want you guys grabbing your pitchforks and your torches and burning us down to the stake. So, but yeah, I think I'll be playing it and giving yeah. it a go. I mean, it's definitely, unless there's like a Fallout 4 happening this year, it's definitely my most anticipated and most excited, you know, game I'm looking forward to. And I just remember, man, Battlefront 2, I would play, I didn't even own the game, but I would like go to my cousin's house on like Christmas, whatever, like holidays when we'd see each other, and we just play it. Like, it was just so much fun. And unfortunately, we're recording this on Thursday, so there's going to be a trailer that comes out on Friday, so we can't really talk about that, but, I, man, it's going to be, I don't know. It, like, from what they've said so far, it's not, like, you could take, like, basically one of the maps, or I guess one of the game modes, you can be battling on the ground, you can get in a spaceship, and then fly out in outer space and have a, a you know, a jet fighter or whatever. I fighter? Yeah, out in the, uh, out that's in space. That's so awesome. Like, that's, that's insane. So, I'm really pumped, man. So, uh, it's gonna be fun. And yeah, as for, like, I guess, if we're posting it, we'll see, but that's um we don't have to talk about it but also another game that's coming out is halo 5 yeah, yeah that game is i played it halo I, i'll, I'll I play it. the single player i haven't I, I don't know i haven't been a fan of the multiplayer that much though unfortunately. i'm gonna get it just for the single player though i like halo's campaign that much yeah no i agree halo's campaign especially co-op game is really fun but it's gonna be it's gonna be a good year. Hopefully, I mean, 2014 we thought would be fun or in good didn't turn out so well. But uh, this one looks like it might be hopefully pretty good. But um, that's kind of it. We uh, actually I have a couple uh, speak pipes. Oh, is this gonna be the you Russian wanna... roulette? Please be Russian no, we, roulette. We, we, oh we boy, have a few. we only have a few. Um, we have two actually. So first one is from Robbie D. wants to play any day now hey squad uh i was just wondering do you think that first person was a waste of rockstar's time because i think it kind of was because not as many people really use it as much as a, well when nexon started uh, a lot of people were using it just at first but then it got kind of boring and people weren't using it as much anymore now so uh, my question is, do you think first person was a waste of Rockstar's time? Thank you. Bye, Gary Barry. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I um, personally don't think so. I think yeah, that... I'm bored with you. Although it's not like... You might not see it in a bunch of videos, or you might have seen like a, th a thread on a forum or two that said, like, oh, no one uses first person. But I think there's more people than you think that like really enjoy first person because you do get immersed, especially when you're driving, and even when you're shooting, if you're you're accustomed to first-person shooters. And I think that while it probably did take up a lot of Rockstar's research and time, I think this is something that they had planned for a while now. So it wasn't just like, oh, shoot, let's add this real quick instead of adding other stuff. Yeah, so, I mean, it's. I think it's definitely going to be in like future games as well. So they kind of laid the, the groundwork for that. But... One thing I will say, after playing it on PC with the 60 frames, first person's a lot better. Like, on consoles, it's it's alright, but it's really nice. It feels amazing. Like, the one downside, though, is the driving. I know you kind of mentioned that, but, like, if they had the mirrors that actually worked, I think it'd be a lot nicer. That, too. And turn signals, maybe. Yeah. That's like, the realistic. field of view in the car 
should be higher, I think. I don't know, at least in my opinion. That's just, I mean, obviously everybody has their own opinion, but that's the only reason why I don't kind of like it in, in the cars. But, it, I mean, it is a lot better. Or it's nice to have that option, at least. That's, it's great to have in PC, man. Yeah, it, I mean, yeah, you're not going to be using it all the time. Like, f- when the game, f- or when it first came out on Next Gen, like, people only played first person for, like, a week straight. But then they're like, all right, you know, let's find a nice balance between third person, because that's what I'm used to playing, and then first person just to... Because first person is better in some aspects, you know, especially with shooting, because you have more, you know, accuracy and stuff. But uh, as for a waste, yeah, I don't think it's a waste, because it's definitely going to be used in the future, and... You know, I think, like Ross said, they, they definitely had this plan, so it wasn't like they threw Heiss out the window or something and, you know, that, went to this. Here's first person. <laughs> yeah. Um, And actually, the other question I had is not working right now. It's not showing up, so... Do a Russian roulette one. That's, I don't have any more. Oh, That's it. Okay. We only had, like, oh, well. two. Oh, well. So, unfortunately, we only have one for this week, but uh, that has been it. I guess with this episode, any final words from you guys? Oh, it's uh, the, thank mean, you guys. Yeah, thank you yeah, for, thank watching for watching. To the end. Remember to leave your Twitter handles down below in the comment section, and um, we will get back to the winners. Yeah, yeah. I don't. We that's don't even have a it. word for this week, but well, we can't because that would conflict yeah. with your Twitter handle. Oh, that's true. Or yeah. yeah, just say I want the mouse. And then put your Twitter handle. I want the mouse. I want the meese. I want the meese. (laughs) I want it. See you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Later, guys.